Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 211 of Prog Review. And today I shall be discussing, ouch, uh, The Unfair Ground by Mr. Kevin Ayers. Um, this was uh, suggested on Facebook because um, sometimes I, I think, oh, what, what shall I do? And I put a call out to Twitter and, and the Facebook people, and they they shout obscure Italian uh, progressive rock titles at me and then I choose Kevin Ayers. <laughs> so that gives you a reason to follow me on Twitter and Facebook so you can throw more obscure progressive rock at me and I can ignore it. Yes, uh, this was uh, Kevin Ayers' 16th, 16th uh, studio album. It was released in 2007. Uh, thing is, ah, September 2007, and I ignored it at the time, mainly because I was busy dealing with the arrival of my first child, which arrived in September 2007, so I didn't even know this existed at the time, and if I'd have done, I would have snapped it up immediately. Orange juice. There's no vodka in it. I'm trying to beat this, this cold, you see, so if I sound a bit more nasal than usual, it's because, oh, sinuses. Um, so yeah, so I, I I was off having a business and changing my life, heading towards the cataclysm, and I didn't even know this was released, so I only came to it um, after Air's death this year in February. I thought, oh blimey, better get better get with it, you know, and uh, and catch up. So um, yeah, so add an extra layer of melancholy to it for me this is an album steeped in you know nostalgia and reflection and even airs himself in interviews at the time admitted that you know it contained you know blood sweat and tears um you know it's it, 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 it even though it, it doesn't feel like a last statement of a musician, it doesn't feel like that, but it does feel like someone who's weary of the world, you know, who's been through the ringer. You know, you know, it's not necessarily the last gasp, but they're they're almost like turning their back on on the world. That's what it feels like to me. You know, it's a very, you know I don't know, for a bit a bit of a sad album, really. A bit of a sad album. Uh, it opens with a song called Evan Only Knows. Uh sorry, Only Heaven Knows. I'll get it right in a minute. Uh, which has like a little wonky brass arrangement and the lyrics you know hark back to Air's a heyday it's a lovely little track you know oh it starts off fairly bright and <laughs> gets darker as we move into the album um this is followed by something called cold shoulder which again it deals about you know getting older and you know finding that there's not necessarily any answers to the life that we have and you know and there's a string section on it that evokes memories of his early stuff, you know, the the Lady Rachel. It's got that kind of, you know, those plaintive strings that you he's familiar with. Um, then we have Walk on Water, and it deals with those lucky people that just seem to, you know, skate through life. You know those ones who just, they breeze through it all without a care in the world while the rest of us flounder, you know, like a drowning man. You know those people. And so the rest of us go, how the hell did they pull this off? And then this is followed by a song called Friends and Strangers, which is about, well, it's about a breakdown of a relationship, really, about friendship moving on. While Shine a Light takes on like an old 1950s rock and roll motif. Um, and it's, you know, it, it didn't really do anything for me. I, you know, it was, it was all right. Uh, this is followed by Wide Awake. And this is a, a, a nighttime terror of a song. It's about you know neurosis and fear and you know not being able to sleep. And um, you know it's those sleepless nights where you're confronted by those gnawing doubts that plague us all. 
Um, this is followed by a duet. We've got a duet on the album. It's a delightful duet as well, um, in the form of Baby Come Home, uh, where Ayers shares the vocal duties with Bridget St. John, who appeared on his earlier works. And, you know, it's a two-handed love song, you know, with each of them taking opposing sides of the relationship. And, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice little track with some trumpet, some great trumpet on this album. And the theme of Lost Sleep continues... You know, being disturbed with with this song "Brainstorm." You know, it's again, it's uh, it's getting darker. It's a dark number, and again, the protagonist is plagued by all manner of nighttime thoughts. You know, this is the theme: tro- being troubled. And then we have the title track, "Unfair Ground," and yeah, it's a nice little you know acoustic guitar riff and a bass riff. Uh, but yeah, even though it's got this hook, it didn't really you know, grab me. You know, it wasn't you know as appealing as some of the other songs on the record. And the album is finally rounded off with something called "Run, Run, Run." Uh, and actually, the album ends in an upbeat fashion, you know, complete with sing along chorus and more of those joyful trumpets. So yeah, that was that. I mean, it is a short record. It's only about thirty-four minutes and one second count to one second and despite its shortness it does now stay its welcome that's good you know i like i like short albums i've got i like them i prefer them over the long you know 72 minute epics um some of the songs you know are you know slight little things you know the wispy little thing bits of song but you know taken to, together it makes a very interesting swan song from you know mr Ayers. I mean, <clears throat> my daughter Verity often says that music makes her feel happy and sad at the same time, and I think that that's the mark of good music. You know, it can you know kind of hit all the emotional points at once. And this album, you know, does that in spades. You know, you feel happy and sad, and you know, you're melancholic and reflective, and then you know, tapping your toes the next. It's one of those kind of records. Um, and it's also a suitable farewell for him as, you know, it's not that you you come to the end of the album and think, oh, I'd like to hear another album, it, you know, or wish that there was another one in the making. You do feel like this is um, like the full stop at the end of his career, whether it was meant to be or not, you know, it, but it is, <laughs> but it also feels like it, you know, a bit like... Um, um, Innuendo did for Queen. I always felt that felt like their, that very did feel like their last album. Um, and you know it's I don't know it's sad looking back but you know you do get some nice contributions from his peers Hugh Hopper who sadly departed in 2009 Phil Mancineer is on here too and so is Robert Wyatt in disguise and there's a load of young folk I think um, people from Super Furry Animals uh, are, helped him with the records you know the new generation of Ayers fans you know Helps him pull the record together, and who we are grateful for, you know, for doing this. It sounds, you know, it does sound like a really good, you know, record. The people that helped him really did work well on it. So there you go. I mean, it's not necessarily one that you you're going to want to pick up first. You know, if you if you are familiar with Ayers's work, it's something that you you know, you know, yeah, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. And as a rating, because of that, I'm going to give this. Four cold shoulders out of five. That's four cold shoulders out of five. And that's that. My name's been Darren Lock. I've been talking about Kevin Ayer's last album, The Unfair Ground. And it's a bit sad. And I'm a bit sad now, so I need to cheer myself up. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Remember, thumbs up, thumbs down, social media. Remember, social media, you can tell me what you want to hear. I'm more likely to take notice on the Twitters and the Facebooks than I am on the comments section because I'll just say, I just say no. <laughs> it's quicker to type no than yes. Uh, but seriously, um, yeah, keep up with the suggestions. I'm not that bad. So I do, they do go in. I just can't, I can't do everything. This is the thing, and some of the stuff you suggest is a bit obscure. You know, it's a bit tough to um, to justify covering it because some people are going to go, huh? "What?" Well, maybe I should cover the obscure. I don't know. I don't. I know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Well, nobody knows. And with that, there's only one more thing to say. Are you ready? I'm gonna have a sip of orange juice first. Hmm.
Nice. And that one thing is, Progon 